Here is the first thing that's going to happen in the program. I'm just going to go straight into main. So, HWND, which is a handle, um, if you hover over it, it will go on the MSDN website. You'll see a bit more, but H game window equals null. We need to declare this as null so we can close the handles at the end um, if they haven't been used. That way we don't crash them. So make sure you declare it as null. Then we go int, oops, int time since last update equals clock now make sure it's on capitals and that should come up now that's why we're using C time here that's the use of that and that's what we're going to use to time the amount of um, difference between our functions you'll see um, so int game avail timer equals clock once again that's fine and then we're going to say int one press timer uh, equals clock that seems fine to me um, doo -doo 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 -doo. and then we're going to go d word uh, dw proc id now this is to get the process id all right equals null make sure you put that in proc id equals null um, let's have another look and once again we're going to create a new handle handle um, H proc handle, so this process handle here. Um, do we declare it as null or not? Yes, we do. So, null, make sure it's in capitals because uh, C knows that. Um, so, equals null. And then say update on next run equals true. Now, hover over it if you have to. Oops, that means I put the wrong name in. Is going to update. Did I write that? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. That should have been update on next run, not update ammo on next run, idiot. Apologies on that. So it should be update on next run. Sorry about that. There you go, the error should be gone. So, uh, that's fine. Now we go std. We're going to declare a few strings here. std string. And we're calling that s ammo status. No, we don't, don't have to put the S there. I don't know why I started doing this halfway through. But S, we're just you know trying to remember it's a string. So copy that again. Uh, and we're going to call that health status. S health status. So call our strings there. <coughs> and we're doing this, just declaring everything on first run before our main loop. Because once that loop starts, you can't stop it. So, um, yeah, actually, I just forgot to declare these equals. Um, off. So we want to declare that as off. By default, they're off, aren't they? So declare both of them as off. Um, and then say one, one. No, that's fine. That's not necessary. And there we go. So we're going to start a while loop now. And what we're doing here is we're doing while. We're doing an infinite loop pretty much. This will never stop. While get a sync uh, key state. And now what this does, this grabs what key we've pressed and if you put VK virtual key is what that means insert now I selected insert for this because it's a key that not many people press by default now I had X on it before and I had escaped escape but <coughs> you can press that by accident by excuse me by going for F1 <coughs> fuck's sake sorry about that so um so what we're saying here is um whilst the insert key isn't pressed loop this infinitely if someone presses it jump off the loop and that's our game ending right there so now we're going to do some a fancy um, a fancy little console but before that we're going to put a timer into use so if clock so we're going to do oops 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 crap if clock so clock that gets our immediate time on the uh, CPU I believe game avail timer is greater so we're saying have 100 milliseconds passed if so we do something about it all right let's do that don't need that many so we do so, so we say if that time has passed timer equals clock so if you've if you've written in um, dark gdk before you remember this type of thing because that's where I learned doing this kind of stuff from so is game avail so bef on every loop we declare game available as false so that it can be proved otherwise that it is true so this way we won't try and write 
into the memory of a game that isn't there. So we do this and we say is game available equals false, the game is available. So then we say h game window and make sure that's the variable that we declared earlier. That's just yep, that's fine. H game window equals find window. Now this is a a function within Windows to find the window that we are looking for. So we give it a name and it will find the window for us. And our first for our first parameter we put null and our second we're gonna put L game window. Alright. Oops. And that should be fine. Oops, 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 totally forgot the semicolon there. Put it, but then I got rid of it. So we're looking for a window that has L game window's name, which is a salt cube. We find that window, that means our game is available. Now, we say if game, H game, um, yeah, so if H game window, that means if that handle is available, alright, uh, we say get window, oops, process. ID so it gets the Windows process ID. Open that. That means I typed something wrong. So get window big G big W big T. Oops, not process. Sorry, it's thread thread ID. Is that right? Just gonna put that. No, that's also wrong. Get window thread or oh, get window thread and then process. Big ass functions. These are sorry. Yeah. So there you go. So we do that. Just open the colon again. The pram um, the bracket to uh, see what we're doing. So we want to get the process ID of that window, the window we just found, hgame window, alright, and we want to put that one in, did we declare this there? Yeah we did, in DW proc ID. that's where we want to put that variable. So get window, is that not okay? Oh, we, you got to put an and here, because I believe when you use the and is to refer to a pointer. Is that right? Let me just think about this. Um, no, the AND is to refer to an address in memory. Apologies for that. That's what the AND is for. Um, if uh, once again, guys, I promised you to um, that you'd have this completed and you will. Don't worry about it. Um, although my knowledge isn't always um, foolproof, as you've been seeing. So if DW proc proc. So I just posted this. So I'm just going to copy it. And paste it. So if it's not equal, right? If it's not equal to zero, right? You can do that, or you can just do uh, if dbw proc id that should work anyway. But I put it like that in my example, so I'm just going to stick with it. Um, so if that is equal to zero, I'm just going to go on the laptop quickly, maximize that so I can see it. There you go. So if so what we've done so far, we just keep checking to make sure everything is there. We make sure the ID is valid, we make sure the handles for the windows are there. And now uh, we say hproc handle proc, so the process handle equals open process. So we want to open the process so we can play with it pretty much, so we can write the memory to it. And we write all in capitals process underscore underscore all access. All right. So that's the type of access we want, and we want false for a uh, handle to be inherited, all in capitals. I think if you do it in uh, lower, it also is the same. So then DW proc ID. Alright, and what we're doing here is we're getting the handle of the program, of the application, and we're making sure everything's okay. Now, oops, uh, just here. So and then we say if hproc handle and we put a little exclamation mark just before it so if it if this isn't true um oops 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 oops, oops my bad I'm such an idiot sometimes equals equals invalid handle value um or so uh this part is in my code guys because um I saw a lot of people doing this and this is just a way to make sure a handle is valid and is not null um equals equals invalid handle value and obviously that's another L but just making sure I got this right. Why is DW proc ID not accepted there? What did I do wrong? Screw that, I did that fine. DW proc oh it's two uh capital I capital D. Apologies. Um so H proc handle equals equals invalid handle value hbrock handle equals equals null then we say we set game status as false right because if it's an invalid handle or it's a null handle then we set the status of that to um, 
we said well we basically just say you know this isn't right um, and the game isn't available so game status equals we do this just so the user can see it so if you do this for your friend or anything like that we just give them a fairly decent user interface now if you're wondering why we didn't use a um, a windows forms is because uh, in C++ they're a lot more difficult and I did one of these for windows forms and they're just like insane amount of code I don't know why why they're so mo much more complicated than compared to C Sharp. I just don't get it. It's just these guys, the experts, they're supposed to know. But there you go. So game status. So if the handle is all right, if we went through all those steps and the handle is good, so if it's not null or invalid, we say equals a soul cube ready to hack. Just write that. So that's going to just display that the game is ready to hack, and we want to say is oops capital is, is game avail equals true. All right, so we set the game as available, and uh, something we want to do here, if we just want to do this to make sure that the user knows if anything has gone wrong and why it has gone wrong. So else here we need one more else after this. So just copy that um, else. So that's for our proc ID. So failed to get process ID ID. So if anything went wrong, we'll know what it is. Um, but usually it's either this error, I mean this message, or this one. Um, and then we say, um, sorry, it's the next message will come up. You'll see it. A bit tired. Terrible. Probably should have left it till the morning to do this for you guys, but I don't have the laptop for too long, so I need to be quick about how I do this. So, what we're saying here is we're saying, um, let's copy that again. So, if, um, and if you're wondering why I didn't do the, you can do them if you like, I'll do them anyway, just so I don't confuse anyone. Let's put that there. So, else game status, so this is else to the game window, so you're going to say assault cube not found. Just do that in capital so it's an obvious thing. And basically what this means is um, yeah, you, most of the time you only get this or that wrong. I mean you get either of those messages but if for some reason something else happens we, we're we ready for it and we want to know exactly what the problem was. Now we're going to do our little design for our interface. Whatever interface you can have with a console but it should be good. So basically what we do here is we say if this is why we've got update. Did you know if you press CTRL, uh, control and space, you uh, get this thing? So it, it is useful sometimes. Update. Uh, it's called update on next run. There you go. If update on next run equals true or clock minus time since, I don't know if we declare this, but I'll find out in a second. Last update is greater than 5000. I believe, yeah, we did. We did do that. Sorry, that's a function. We did declare that. And now this is to find out um, basically if nothing has changed, we update anyway. We update every five seconds to make sure our interface. So we do that because um, if for some reason the um, the game was on but now it's off, then once it gets five seconds, we tell them that the game is not no longer on. But either way, they're not allowed to access it between that time. The minute it goes off, we can't use that anymore. So it's not a bad system. So first thing you want to do is you want to do system um, CLS. Now I've heard quite a few people saying this. I think it's because it somehow seizes input to the user. I'm not too sure what they mean by that. I did read a few things. So if you look more into it, you'll find out that um, I'm sure they're right. Um, that system dot clear screen is the best thing to use, but this isn't anything too complex, and it will do for our job here. So we want to go STD that and then C out. Now C out is what we use in C to print to our screen in console. So we do this and we do basically just this. I mean you don't have to do this, I do it because I think it looks fairly good in the end. And then what we want to do here is we want to go do that it means we want to put something else in, end L. And we want to go end L because end L means end line. And now we put just copy this and put another one here because we'll need that in a second. Put that there and then copy this alright so we can have two end lines alright and you can use the old method of good old slash n I mean I don't know why they haven't put that for it well they have but 
I don't know why people don't use it. 